There are a couple of terms that are not allowed on YouTube. Now, obviously I can't say them, but you guys have a general idea as to what those could be, right? But how would you feel if you were told that the term bank failure was also banned? Or how about liquidity crisis? Now I'm asking because the American Banking Association is telling this to their staff. Now here's a question though. Aren't we in a banking crisis right now where we've seen multiple failures and collapses? I mean, how bad can it be if the truth is something that we should be avoiding? Now there's also more talk about medicine being in short supply. That is not good news for parents and even for adults. We seem to be getting to a point where you can't even risk being sick. When was the last time you got sick? Also, we've got good news for the housing market. That is, if you're only looking at it based on month to month differences. Just don't check how far it's come compared to the year over year. Now, before I continue, guys, I would really appreciate it if you could smash the like button for the video. It really helps a lot and it shows that you guys are liking and enjoying the content that I push out to you guys. And if you're here in need of your daily dose of the truth when it comes to the social security, SSI, SSDI, the state of our economy, the housing market, the stock market, and everything that goes on in Washington, D.C. that affects our lives, families, and our bank accounts. Be sure to subscribe. And for the best way to invest in gold, hit the link in the description down below this video. Nothing beats a man with a plan or a woman too, for that matter. Why? Because these are the people who stay prepared, who doesn't know what's coming next, but is intuitive enough to have a slight clue as to what could happen. People that prepare plans before problems, they're smart, they're capable, and they know what they're doing. Are you one of these people? You know what? Let's see. Are you prepared for food shortages? How about water shortages? What if the internet was down? How about if you lost power in your neighborhood? Got a generator? Got some backup extra food? What if an intruder tries to get into your home? Are you prepared? You got protection? Have you touched on all the bases to be prepared for in all these different scenarios and more? Now, the reason why I'm asking is because we're living in such problematic times that we just don't know exactly what's going to be happening next. All we know is that we're for sure going to be facing some kind of new challenges. So let me ask you again, are you prepared for what tomorrow might bring? How about if you get sick or even your loved ones? Were you guys aware that antibiotics are in short supply in our country? Yeah, guys, if you've tried to get antibiotics for your kids over the last you know, winter season, you've probably seen how hard it is to come by amoxicillin. That is one of many antibiotics that is currently in shortage. More than three dozen right now on the FDA shortages list. And antibiotics are some of the drugs most frequently found to be in shortage. Meg Terrell of CNBC continues to say that we're facing historically high levels of shortages when it comes to generic drugs. She also adds that these are usually old drugs that are also inexpensive, which means that manufacturers aren't really thrilled or even motivated to make more of them. Now, there's also this huge issue with supply chains. And again, manufacturing doesn't happen in the United States. No, 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 no. They're usually made outside of our country. Being prepared now? And to be prepared, you have to do it in many different ways, mentally, emotionally, and physically. There's all kinds of layers to this thing that you have to cover. Now, speaking of cover, the American Banking Association wants you to cover your mouth whenever you say the words bank failure. Why? Well, they'd rather you call it an idiosyncratic liquidity disruption instead. <laughs> A what now? It's true. They are telling their staff that some terms are just completely off limits and should be avoided. Other terms like liquidity crisis, closed, and even failure are being avoided in speeches, conversations, and emails. Look, you can call your dog a cat, but at the end of the day, if it woofs, it's probably still a dog. Is the banking sector just so jacked up that they want to try to change the mood by overly complicating terms? Now, on that note, the housing market is still a mess, but let's be real about that. I don't think that there is one person who's just going to come right out and say that this is the best time to buy a house. Unless, of course, you're trying to sell one. But the market's in such bad shape that you need a lot of due diligence to find deals that are worth it. But even with that, we are still being told that a slight drop in mortgage rates has convinced many home buyers to get back into the market. Do you guys believe that? Is that mortgage rate drop making it that much more enticing to get back in the market? Now, there's actually a headline on Fox News that says that these lower rates are raising mortgage applications. But wait, where is this hope coming from? Because if we looked at it on a year over year basis, the difference is in Insane. But okay, let's look at the month to month. So from January, home sales based on contract signings, it went up by 0.8%. But if we compared it to February last year, it is down 21%. February 2021, oh, 25%. And how about 2020? Ah, 25% as well. Just look at this. Pending sales by region year over year, 
that's a lot of red. Also, pending sales don't necessarily mean that the deal's closed. It's a signed contract, but there's still a chance that those fall through depending upon a variety of reasons. There might be difficulty in, in obtaining financing. Maybe the lender backs out. Maybe appraisals don't necessarily support the value of the property being purchased. But hey, anything to put out some positivity into the market, right? But sooner or later, people are going to wake up to the reality of what's really happening around them. Have you guys heard about this Airbnb bust situation that's going on? Oh, yeah, we'll talk more about that in a future video. But when the time comes, you guys are going to see more people preparing themselves and their loved ones. But you guys tell me what you think about all of this. And should we be worried about things getting worse? Or is this a sign of better things to come? Maybe we're looking at this all wrong. Be sure to hit me up in the comment section down below. Now you got to ask, when does it get better? When are those promises of inflation going down and the economy becoming strong again going to happen? If I were you, I don't know if I would necessarily want to hold my breath on that one. Now, at the end of the day, it is up to us. It's up to you to create your own opportunities. Do you have debt, credit cards, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, mortgage, rent? Is the cost of food getting to you? You can do something about it. And if you're willing to put in the time to learn, you could probably improve your life and that of your household. You see, there are opportunities that are out there, but you got to grab it. Look at the stock market. There are ways that you can make money off of it. The same can be said for real estate. Now you might say, well, I don't have the money to start investments. Why not improve your cash flow? Create the income, create side hustles, small businesses, stuff that you could start with little to no money out of pocket and possibly start generating multiple streams of income. Now, if you want to learn all about these, feel free to drop us a comment down below this video. Maybe I'll make a future video dedicated to this subject. The road to financial freedom is not easy, but it's also not impossible. Also for the best way to invest in gold, hit the link in the description down below. Now, before I go, guys, don't forget to drop a thumbs up for the video and subscribe for your daily dose of the truth. Appreciate you guys watching. Please be kind to one another and I'll see you in the next video.